Welcome back to Take Apart. In this video, I will test Baofeng UV5R. Output power and spurious RF emissions with Tiny SA Ultra Spectrum Analyzer. For this job, is attenuator necessary? This is 40 dB attenuator. This Type N to SMA adapter is also handy, along with this quality cable with Type N and SMA connectors. All Testing equipment came from eleshop.eu. eleshop.eu has everything you will ever need from hobby to full blown professional equipment. They are shipping worldwide, so make sure to check them out. And also use coupon code TAKEAPART5 at checkout to get 5% discount on selected devices. So for measuring output power, we have to set frequency range. I'll do start at 120 M as megahertz and stop at 600 megahertz. Now this is my range. Next I'll do menu back level unit and select what as measuring unit. Also menu external gain or X gain has to be set as we have attenuator attached. So negative 40 times 1 and all is set. I'll connect my Baofeng UV5R. Radio is set to low TXP and I'll transmit at 160 megahertz and straight away I can see tiny SA showed 0.4 watts power on 160 megahertz. Now I will do same on 446 or PMR frequency it is on 0.41 watts. So let's do FRS GMRS frequency as well. Whoa. Initial jump to 0.9 watts and drop down to about 0.36 watts. Next, I'll put TXP settings to high as this radio has only two options low and high. FRS GMRS with high is on 3.6 watts, 160 MHz is on 4.12 watts. And PMR is on 3.73 watts. Yeah, slightly lower than advertised. For measuring spurious RF emissions, we have to set a couple of things. Menu, config, more, and here, enable ultra. This requires code for some reason. So the code is 4321 and hit enter. Now we have range up to 3 gigahertz. Menu, back, back, measure, and here, harmonics. I'll transmit on 160 M S megahertz. Use full span, so zero and hit times one. Menu, marker, and here I'll choose eight markers. Here we go, they just appeared. All eight of them. Now, let's transmit on 160 megahertz. Hmm, I'll have to set 40 decibel attenuator. Menu, level, external gain and here negative 40 times 1 that's my 40 db attenuator so once again transmitting on 160 megahertz and here we go tiny sa ultra picked up two extra radio signals coming out of this radio main one is on 160 megahertz second on 320 megahertz negative 29 dbm lower and third signal is on 481 megahertz and on negative 30.9 dBm lower. So this radio is not good as spurious emissions has to be apparently at least 40 dB lower than primary signal. Make sure to subscribe, check out eleshop.eu and use my coupon code to get 5% discount. Links are in description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.